Hi, I'm your Craig. Today, this nifty little device arrived in the mail for me. It's the MIDI Fighter Twister from DJ Tech Tools, and it's a really cool piece of kit. But no, I haven't become a DJ. This I'm actually gonna be using for my photography work. This is actually with a plugin, a free plugin from I found online. This allows me to control the sliders and some of the buttons in Lightroom by just turning these dials. Now using some free software called MIDI 2 LR, I can map each of these controls to different controls in Lightroom. And in doing so, I can have direct fine manual control over all the sliders. And these dials are also buttons so you can press them and that allows me to do other controls like marking for select and skipping to the next file. And it's really handy. It's surprising how much uh, faster it actually is to use this than having to click and drag the mouse over sliders and how much more control you feel you have when you're just doing tiny little movements with your finger. It's really hard to just drag the mouse a small amount of space to just make a small adjustment to the slider, but it's a lot easier to do it with your fingers. So let me just give you a quick demonstration now of how it works. So once you've downloaded and extracted the MIDI to LR plugin and then installed it into Lightroom, uh, you get a little window like this pop up whenever Lightroom loads. And to start with, this list is empty, but as soon as you, you tweak one of the dials or press a button, then it populates the um, list with an empty button that you can then set with one of the different settings for Lightroom. So for example, here I've got a highlight set. I can click on that and change it to any of these functions. And there are some things missing. You can't um, put in keystrokes. So you can't, for example, press a, a button for Z for zoom, but uh, most things are in here already and it's, it's really handy as it is now. Uh, you'll also notice that when I just gently touch one of the dials in it, it already loaded it into the develop module. And all these controls happen in the develop module because I believe that Lightroom 6, the plugin, um, or the, the API doesn't work for controls in the library, only for the develop module. And incidentally, MIDI 2 LR is the only um, MIDI controller interface plugin that I could find for Windows for the latest version of Lightroom. And it's free, so that's fantastic. So first I'm gonna show you how I've chosen my layout for my different controls. Uh, you can also see that I've set different color um, labels for each of the different buttons and that's something that you do in the MIDI controller software that's for the um, the MIDI fighter twister and I've put the colors sort of in groups so that the blues in the first two rows here they're different exposure controls so um, if we go into the develop module you'll see in the basic panel there these six exposure controls uh, these two are the color controls for temperature and tint so that's orange because the uh, temperature is sort of an orange scale through blue and tint is magenta through green. So that's these two rows. The third row, we've got the uh, presence. So I've mapped clarity and vibrance to these two. I don't use saturation much. Next, I've got in the lens corrections, I've got defringing for purples and for greens. So I changed the color for those to purple and green. Uh, the last row, this is just the vignette and the last three, I made them red because it's bad, it's for noise. And that's how I deal with noise. So that's uh, luminance, value, contrast, and color noise um, correction. So I've also mapped a few things to the buttons. And most of the top row here, and this one down here, and I'll show you this one in a moment, but the top row I've mapped to moving left and right, or next and previous, and marking, increasing the rating, and reject. So pressing that marks it as a, a, a reject. And I'll, I'll show you how I use that for the selection process. So you can see here, I've got all my photos from a photo shoot of my cat, Jimmy. And as soon as I um, start moving through, you can see that it on the screen, it moves the selected image by pressing next and previous. But we'll go into a develop module for this. So what I do is I basically move through the photos and I say, okay, no, I, I, I'm gonna reject that one. I don't want that. So I just hit the far right button and that marks it as a reject. And I just keep moving through and say, like, okay, I like that photo. I'm gonna mark that as a one star and one stars are what I um, process. So I'll move through the shoot and select and delete a few files. Okay, so that'll do. I've got a few selected now. And so what I'll do is I'll go into the into the filters and I'll filter only the one stars and you'll see them down the, the bottom here. 
Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick process of these six photos and we'll go back to the first one. And uh, you can just watch me now as I tweak my settings and you'll see the effects up here in Lightroom on the sliders while I make the changes here on the controller. And so you'll be able to see how responsive that is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a few of these uh, photos. Uh, I won't talk through it, you can just watch. Now, if I want to zoom in and check the noise, I have to press Z. And if I want to pan around, of course, I have to get back to the mouse. Now, I'm still learning some of these buttons where I put everything. So sometimes I'll accidentally go to the wrong one, but it's very easy to just change it back. If I, for example, did go to here and increase the purple fringe correction, and there's no purple fringe in this one, I've mapped this button down here to reset the last modification. I'm always keeping an eye on the histogram too while I'm making these edits. Okay, and so I'm pretty happy with those edits. Uh, obviously, you can't do things like cropping or any of the adjustment brushes or anything like that. That's going to require the mouse, um, whatever you do. Um, but this is, uh, I find, a lot faster, a lot more accurate. It just feels good to have your fingers on the dials. Uh, and I'll just do a pass through with doing all these edits with the dials, and then I'll go back to the start again and do any things that require the mouse, for, for example, spot correction or cropping. So um, the links are in the description to where you can buy the Mi Fire Twister. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this. This is just uh, something that I, I wanted to talk about because I really love the way this works. And of course the um, MIDI 2 LR. Uh, it's still in development, early stages yet, and the developer is apparently uh, adding in features as people request them and he's asking for um, donations so that he can buy some uh, other MIDI controllers to test with. So if you like this, check it out and uh, I hope this helps speed up your processing.